Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. So I've got, yeah, it's it's an iPhone. And I know it's always a little awkward when I have an iPhone on this channel, but we're doing it for a really specific and important reason today, and that's to take a look at Google's new app right there. It's called Gboard, and as of now, it's an iOS exclusive. As the name suggests, it is indeed a keyboard from Google for iOS. But we're talking about it because what it does is put Google search inside of your keyboard. Do I need to explain why that's important? I don't think so. Let's get into this. This is a quick look at Google's Gboard for iOS. All right, so Gboard, right? Google Keyboard. Uh, if you're an iOS user, I'm, I'm not going to walk you through how to set it up and get it going. Let's just dive into this. I've already got it active. Let's just go into something like Hangouts. So to show you how cool and important and impressive this is, uh, let's just start typing. So you can see right away you get that Google icon there. So uh, it's a normal keyboard, I can say. This is awesome. And then, you know, we can send that. You can also see it's suggesting emoji. So this is 100. Yeah, that's fine. So, you, you know, you can do that stuff. It's got the normal, you know, you can say this is awesome. So it's auto correcting. It has gesture swiping. It has all the stuff you want in a normal keyboard. But where it becomes awesome then is when you, yes, indeed, hit that Google button. So if I tap this and uh, let's say I want last night's Trailblazers. So Trailblazer score, and you can see it's predicting just like Google search does, uh, but there it is. So I typed in Trailblazer score in the little mini Google search thing that pops up, and there it is. Blazers unfortunately lost to the Warriors. But if I want to share that, let's say I'm having a conversation with somebody and I just want to share the score quickly. I just tap on that, and you can see it populates sort of this, well, a link to the score, but it also shows the score. There's a little trophy up there. It says when the game was. Um, one thing it also does though is it copies this card so i can now tap up here and say paste and it shows me a preview of what it's about to send and so i sent that so not only did i just send a picture of the score it also does then send a link and all of that as well so if you want to tap on that it'll get right in the score so kind of cool right um let's do some other things so let's say uh, we're talking about a restaurant. So Produce Row, one of my favorite restaurants in Portland, I can search for that and it brings up, you know, some cards for it. You can swipe over and look at additional cards. Like there's one from Yelp or Eater or Oregon Live. Uh, but here's the card that Google has found. So I can tap on that and you can see it pulls up um, information up here, name of it, address, phone number, and Google search results. So I can tap send, but again, it copied a picture of the image. And so I can paste there and then it will send that as well if I want to. So you can see there's a card shows the rating also the other time, like times it's open, things like that, and a little picture from the restaurant. So in the middle of a conversation, you can quickly share information like that. Uh, it does some other things too, like I could ask for a definition. So I could say like, well, you have to hit the Google button first. So I could say, well, you can see up there, I already did a Google search for a definition of droid. So if I type or if I tap on that, it then pulls up uh, the quick sort of Google search result for essentially a dictionary um, entry. And if I tap on that, it then puts that up there. So droid, noun, robot, and I can send that. So you, you, you're starting to get the idea, right, of the things you can sort of send here. Um, if we get out of there, go back in. Now you can also send emoji or pictures or YouTube links and things like that. So you may have noticed one of the things I searched for was Paul Allen, Steph Curry. So the other day, Steph Curry went ham on the Blazers and created one of the great gifts in recent memory. And so if that loads up, this thing right here. So it copied that. So I tap up here and long press for a second, paste and send. And so now I've just sent that. And yes, I do call them GIFs. I'm never going to ever call them GIFs, by the way. So I just sent that GIF then. And uh, it's Paul Allen with the stunned face after Curry just went crazy in overtime the other night. So you can send GIFs, you can send images. And then of course, there's YouTube as well. So we could do, uh, let's see, we'll do, I think our channel is called Moto Droid Life. And uh, we'll just search for that and see what happens. And there we go. So here, well, these are some old videos. Here's a Galaxy Nexus video. And so I can tap on that and it throws it right up in there and I can send that. And then it sends a YouTube link to a video. So you can share YouTube videos. You guys are getting this, right? This isn't science. It's just powerful and it's cool. You can search for news links and send those. 
Uh, it, it, the, the idea here just sort of keeps getting better and better the more you think of it. Um, you can also, uh, well, Google shows that you can do emoji search. So they show an example where you type dancer and it brings up all your emoji, but I haven't actually gotten that to work yet. I've actually found that if I'm just out in this text box and I type dancer, it will then show, well, dancer didn't work, but uh, fire does. So fire just brings up the fire emoji. And if you're like me, you can just keep hammering on fire emoji, which is the best emoji ever. And then that will send that. So this is an example of doing all of this stuff in hangouts. You can also do all of this stuff in an email. So same, same deal here, right? So I tap on this and I type in like blazers and that was terrible typing. Let's just gesture that blazers highlights. So we type in Blazers highlights, and there's game three of the playoffs. There's another game. Not sure which game that is. There's game four. How about game five, which was last night? That will then send, but it also copies a screenshot of that, so I can paste that as well. Um, if you want to keep going, you can search for, well, let me get back out of there. I can type in fire, and there's the fire emoji, and I can spam that in an email. Or I can go back and uh, I can put that GIF in there that I just submitted. Here's also an image search, by the way. Um, but here's GIF as well, and we can tap that, and it copies that, and we can paste that in an email. So you can just sort of do this anywhere, right? You can do this in WhatsApp. You can do this probably in iMessage, although I've never used the app. Uh, but you know, I showed you Hangouts, a text messaging app, email apps, Gmail, whatever you want, you can do this because it's built into the keyboard and Google's then pulling it from the web and letting you insert it in everything. Very, very cool. I would actually go out on a limb, which Tim suggested earlier and say that this is better than Google Now on tap. Because how often are you in your keyboard and you just wanna search for something or type something or share something without leaving? You can do that with this keyboard. Google Now on tap, you had to long press, hopefully find the right results. You don't really have that much control over what you're seeing. This you do, it's just Google search and you get a type and all of that stuff. So. Very cool. This is Gboard, which is again an iOS exclusive at the moment. Uh, it will hopefully come to Android very soon. And once it does, we will tell you all about it. But for now, now you know how to use it. Uh, no, this isn't a reason to go run to iOS, but it is very cool. Either way, we're Droid Life. We are out. Peace.